Assalamualaikum everyone. Financial consultant Helmi Hakim here from Takafulo SZ. I specialize in helping Muslim families plan their finance, the Sharia compliant way in Singapore. Uh, right now, where I'm going, I'm going to Hajia Sophia Mosque. Eh, so we're going to perform some prayers there. Yeah, uh, basically, I am going to perform some prayer. <laughs> my wife and my daughter are not sleeping in the hotel. I take the initiative uh, to go uh, early in the morning because our hotel is just two minutes away from Haja uh, Sophia Mosque. So Haja Sophia actually was um, uh, what you call that. Haja Sophia previously was a church uh, for 1,500 years. Then it became a uh, mosque. And then uh, subsequently in the year in 1938, uh, right, uh, Mustafa Kamal Atatuk had changed it to a museum. And then two years ago, in the year 2020, uh, President Otogul uh, converted back eh, to a mosque. So if you go before 2020, right, uh, you want to enter Hajar Sophia, right? Uh, you must uh, pay money lah, because it was a museum. Uh, but now because it become a mosque, uh, it's free. Lah. It's, it's free for anyone, anybody uh, of any race, religion, and this ethnicity uh, can enter now for free. So I feel quite uh, excited and quite happy. Uh, because from previously what I heard is that you want to enter Hajar Sophia, right? There was a very long queue. You need to pay a lot of money. Uh, but now, Alhamdulillah, you can enter it uh, for free. And a uh, good thing for me here right now, I stay so close to Hajar Sophia. So I want to take the opportunity to uh, go it early in the morning uh, and see uh, how is it like. And I'll share uh, more with you. Okay, let's see the surrounding area in the morning around Hajar Sophia Mosque. Basically nobody now lah. See? I think you can see the pigeon or the seagulls. Oh, so cute. Uh, that side is the blue mosque. Where Muhammad Rasulullah. to Hajar Sofia. And so this is Hajar Sofia. And that's the blue moss. Right? So let's go. Okay, so now Hajar Sofia Moss is closed. It left about 15 more minutes eh, before uh, it uh, opened. So what I want to do now is that I want to take the opportunity and to share with you some uh, financial, th some successful tips lah, that I've learned uh, over the years. What I can do here right now is that I can um, create a topic. Okay, let's think about a topic. Okay, the topic is success tips from Islamic financial consultant Helmi Hakim. Uh, this is live from Istanbul. Eh, for those of you who just tuned in eh, to my Facebook live, Assalamualaikum, this is financial consultant Helmi Hakim here from Takafu.sg Right now I am in Istanbul I am waiting at the entrance eh, of the gate to Haja eh, uh, Sofia Mosque and it's going to open in 15 minutes time so before that what I want to do is I want to take the opportunity to share with you eh, some uh, tips eh, that I learned uh, in life so the topic here is success tips from Islamic financial consultant Helmi Hakim Eh, part one, uh, so part one first, eh, because I'm waiting uh, for the gate to open. Okay, so Haja Sophia, how do you spell Haja? H A G I A, Haja, and eh, H. Eh, so H stands for help. Um, anything we do in life, right? The first thing first we need to seek help is seek help from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and eh, we need to seek help from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And this is the first premise, uh, and the first thing I learned uh, in order for me to be successful in anything I do in life. 
and whether, whether it's my career, eh, I want to be a successful eh, financial consultant, maybe if I, I took um, exams or what, right, and I want to top the whole class or the whole cohort, or if I were to go into any kind of endeavor where I need to compete. Eh. <laughs> the first thing first is what? The first thing first is eh, help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this is very important. Eh, to me, this is very important. And no matter how clever you are, eh, how good you are, how competent you are, eh, how great you are, eh, the number one eh, denominator that will enable you eh, to achieve success is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Eh, so the first thing first eh, you want to do to achieve anything in life is seek help eh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, I want to I want to share with you a hadith. Eh? A hadith by Tirmizi. And so this hadith by Tirmizi, right? Is this let me just read out for you. Uh with all this I, I take down notes lah, and because I want to be exact lah, when it comes to hadith or it or when it comes to uh Quranic eh, verse eh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be mindful of God and He will take care of you. Be mindful of Him and you shall find Him at your side. If you ask Ask of God. If you need help, seek it from God. Know that if the whole world were to gather together in order to help you, they would not be able to help, except if God has written so. And if the whole world were to gather together to harm you, they would not harm you, except if God had written it. The pens have been lifted and the pigeons once are dry and the pages are dry and so this is the hadith and to substantiate that anything you want to do in life anything you want to go for or you want to excel and what you need to do is that you need to seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's the first thing you need to do H right so for those of you who just tuned in assalamualaikum this is Yerami Hakim here from takafu.sg I specialize in helping Muslim families plan their finance the Sharia compliant way in Singapore Right now, I am on holidays in Istanbul and I'm waiting at the gate entrance of Hajar Sophia Mosque. See? And I want to take this opportunity to share with you some eh, success tips. Lah, eh? uh, I am I have nobody, lah, eh? but I feel that, Alhamdulillah, over the number of years eh, working as an Islamic financial consultant, I have some experience lah, eh, that I feel that I can share with you lah. Eh? So, I try to uh, fit in the context of every country that I go. And right now, I am in Istanbul. Eh, and I am in front of Haja eh, Sofia eh, Mosque. So, H, H stands for help. Eh? So, first thing first, help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second thing that you need to go, eh, you need to seek help from men. Ah, seek help from fellow human being. Eh, first one, you seek help from God. Second thing, you seek help from eh, fellow human being. Uh, who who are these human being eh, that I mentioned? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, eh, chapter 21, verse 7, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهَلْ ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask people of knowledge if you do not know. So you got this goal. Eh? It can be anything. Lah. Maybe it is your fitness goal. Lah. Eh, or maybe if you are in a career, you have to climb up the corporate ladder, uh, that's your career goal. Or maybe if you are in like sales line eh, with me, like, like myself, right? Yeah, that's that's your 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 goal. And when you want to seek help, eh, help from people of knowledge and eh, people who have done and eh, what you want to achieve. Uh, that's the second thing. You seek doa from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. The second thing is that you seek help eh, from those who have achieved the goals or those who are trained. In the the area that you want to achieve, and maybe they haven't achieved. They, they, it's not their priority to achieve that goal, but they are trained as a coach eh, to help you eh, achieve the goal. Eh, seek help from them and eh, work together with them. And eh, no man is an island. So H H stands for help. Help from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and help from fellow mankind. The next one is A. Eh? So how you spell Hajia Sophia? H A G I A. Right, Hajia eh, Sofia, S O P H I A. Eh, but now I just uh, do part one first, lah. <laughs> part one first while well, waiting for the gate eh, of Hajia Sofia Mosque to open. Eh, I just do part one first, lah. H for help. 
Help from Allah and help for mankind. Okay, then E. E stands for what? A stands for advance. So you have your goal. It can be your fitness goal. It can be any goals. Uh, eh? Fitness or maybe um, career goals or maybe if you're a student, uh, you want to uh, top your whole class. Uh, yeah, so that's one of your goal and you have make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then after that you have seek help and from your from your coach from your trainer or from uh, fellow successful uh, individuals in your industry alhamdulillah they share with you a lot of tips all that so the next thing you need to do is A A is what? A is advance right? A is what? A is advance okay. you see all you receive all the knowledge right? you don't sit on it lah <laughs> you advance you take a lot of action and you move forward you become successful or you are not successful whether it's fast or it's slow it doesn't matter you just advance forward uh, this is the key that I learned right? anything in life of course uh, there's, there'll be challenges right and you 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 yeah you have your goal you set your goals and you seek help and you make dua, you get uh, help from others, all that, and then you work on it. And sometimes, Alhamdulillah, eh, it's easy, you achieve it. But sometimes there's a lot of challenges. But whatever it is, just advance forward. Eh? Uh, don't give up. Eh? Don't lah. Eh? You learn so much, then you become analysis paralysis. Uh, you cannot do anything. Or don't lah. Eh? You learn so much, and after that you take action, then fail, then give up. Uh, no, don't. Don't do that. Right? You learn something, you learn a lot of it, you take a lot of action, be it you, you, you pass or you fail, you just advance forward. Eventually, you will reach to the other side. Okay? So, A, A is advance. Okay, now the one is, the next one is what? G, Haja, H-A-G. G is gear. Ah, gear. Yeah? I like this analogy like driving a car. Lah. Yeah? You drive a car, Got gear one, got gear two, got gear three. So what I want to share here is that everything is gradual. Eh? You want to take action, you want to chong all the way. Lah. Eh, but sometimes what happens is that eh, you are not ready, you're not prepared yet. So you go slowly. Lah. Eh, you go step one first. Eh, everything is process. Eh? Gear one, oh there's a cat here. <laughs> That's how I was. I was chased, almost chased by a by a dog. <laughs> so you know, I'll just show you there's a cat. Eh? Let's see, you can see. Uh, let's say there's a cat there. Yeah, just I got almost chased by a, by a dog. Uh, but luckily, uh, the policeman is there. So the policeman helped me. Uh. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I think the dog is meant to protect us. Uh. But then, because I look so unfamiliar, I don't look, I don't look like uh, Turkish people. So the dog find, found me unfamiliar. They want to chase me. Uh, lucky got Mr. Policeman there uh, to help. <laughs> Okay, so back to the topic. And G, G is that the gear. Okay, gear, gear. Yeah, so back to the topic. Gear 1, gear 2, gear 3. And start slow first. It's okay to start slow first. Gear 1, gear 2, and then gear 3. Right? Because sometimes, you know what? No? You go for gear 1, gear 2, gear 3. Sometimes you need to reverse. Ah, right? Uh, so it's okay. It's part and parcel of life. Right? It's part and parcel of life. And move slowly, move gradually, and trust the process. Right? So that's G. And then the next one is what? I. Eh, Haja. H A G I A. I is invest and it's limit. You need to invest. Any, anything you want to achieve in life, you need to invest your time. You need to invest your energy. And you need to invest your money also. Lah. Uh, and nothing comes free. Lah. And my mentor like to share this word. Lah. Eh, what's the word? Uh, mujahada. <laughs> uh, mujahada. You need to work for it. Eh, you cannot lah. You want, you want to achieve something big, something huge, and then you lay back, you relax. You know, cannot. And you have to work for it. And you have to, you have to put in and uh, the effort and the time, the energy. Eh, you cannot just lay back, relax one corner, and then you expect miracles to happen. It doesn't work that way. Eh, the shortcut eh, to success. Uh, is what is putting uh, your effort, energy, and your heart and soul into it. Uh, so you need to invest your time, invest your energy, invest your invest your money. Uh, uh, and some people want to achieve something, then they want it everything like for free, that kind of thing. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. Uh, 
So everything eh, you need to put in effort. Okay, the keyword here is mujahada. Uh, now the start to have like human beings, uh, eh, because think some of them also want to perform uh, prayer lah, at Haja eh, Sophia Mosque. Lah. Right? And I. I also stand for Islamic. Uh, Islamic. Okay? So whatever endeavor right, you want to achieve, right, it must be Islamic. Can benefit you in this dunya and can be benefit you eh, in the Ahira. Eh, so my mother lah, eh, used to uh, share with me this noah. Eh, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina azabannar. Eh, so pray for success in this dunya and this ahira. Okay, the thing about psychology lah, and because I'm talking about what success tips from Islamic financial consultant Helmi Hakim, okay, I want to share with you the psychology behind it lah, eh, psychology behind. And why this is important, you know, eh, uh, in terms of uh, halal, haram, Islamic, eh, yeah, for some of us we understand, and eh, then uh, why we need to, in the Malay word, money take berat kan, we need to put extra emphasis on halal and haram, because during after we die, okay. Eh, after we die, and what will happen is that we will be questioned eh, in the Yamul Nashal eh, how we earn our money and how eh, we spend it. And eh, this is very important. Eh? That's why we do our level best in this dunya to ensure that whatever we do, eh, do it the halal way, eh, the sharia compliant way. And whatever goes, you want to say it must be I, Islamic. And eh? that's the emphasis there. Okay, but, but now I want to come go in one step further eh, from a psychological eh, point of view. It's my experience uh, and my whole experience in life, right? When you want to achieve something great, eh, definitely uh, there will be challenges. Uh. And sometimes uh, the challenges are uh, <laughs> too big. You just feel like you want to give up. And you just feel that you want to give up. Right? So when you... A lot of people, they will just reflect on their goals again and again. And then sometimes they want to give up. And But if you put your goals as... And Islamic, right? Yeah, you the time you want to give up, you ask yourself and eh, why you have set this goal for yourself. And with assistance from Allah, pray to Allah, Ya Allah, I have set this goal and I really want to achieve it. And I make extra effort eh, to ensure that yeah, it is a eh, halal, it is shara compliant. Please help me and guide me. Show me the way. And give me the energy to propel the goal. And for us Muslims, it will give us the additional energy, effort. And when your goals are Islamic. And because we know we have a purpose, we have a cause. And we have, we have something that goes beyond us. So set your goals as Islamic. You benefit the Ahira. And you also benefit eh, the dunya overall. For those of you who just uh, tuned in, this is Financial Consultant Helmi Hakim here from Singapore. I am right now waiting at the entrance of Haja Sophia Mosque, eh, at the gate of Haja Sophia Mosque. So we will wait uh, patiently. And now I'm just sharing with you uh, part one uh, success tips from Islamic Financial Consultant Helmi Hakim. Uh, actually, I want to share this tomorrow, uh, but then because I was uh, early here, at uh, the Hajjah Sophia Mosque and, and it's still closed I think about 15 more minutes eh, to the uh, entrance time or what that kind of thing so I share it now lah okay so it's a bit uh, impromptu eh, uh, at the gates of Hajjah eh, Sophia Mosque so back to the topic Hajjah Sophia H-A-G-I-A H for help eh, seek help from Allah SWT seek help from your fellow mankind A advance move forward G gear I invest and Islamic. The, the last one is uh, accelerate. Uh, accelerate. It's like this. I like to give this analogy like a train. A train, right? At first, eh, especially the old kind of train, we use coals, right? Uh, the old time you use coals eh, for you to um, get the what, combustion energy for the train to move. At first, right, when the train wants to move, right, it's very difficult. But once the train eh, got the momentum, uh, it's easy to move fast. And so similar in anything uh, you want to achieve in life. And you work so hard. At first, the starting part, right, like super difficult. Uh, difficult, no? And But then, uh, once you get the momentum, right, it's easier to move fast. So you, when you get the momentum, right, you need to accelerate. 
eh, you need to accelerate. Eh, don't stop. Eh, don't lah. You achieve small wins, right? Then after that, uh, happy here lah. Uh, enjoy here lah. You cannot. And you achieve small wins. These small wins eh, will gradually eh, help you and eh, propel you forward. Eh, when you accelerate eh, eh, during the course of the action and eh, to achieve the bigger goals eh, in your life. So uh, that's all uh, eh, <laughs> for me. Part one, eh, live eh, from Istanbul. Success tips from Islamic financial consultant Helmi Hakim. Uh, let me just walk to the entrance and then uh, inshallah, eh, if permitted, eh, I'll be showing you around eh, uh, the entrance or the um, the, the surroundings uh, eh, of uh, Haja Sophia Mos. Uh, take care. That's all from Islamic financial consultant Helmi Hakim from Takafuda SG. Eh, inshallah, eh, tomorrow or what, I will find time <laughs> to record eh, part two lah, eh, part two of the topic here. Success tips from Islamic financial consultant Helmi Hakim part two. Uh, take care. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye. The first the person to enter Haja Sofia Mos. section Allah. Nobody yet in the mosque, it's only me and the security. This is the Imam section. Okay, so let me just perform some prayers first before the Azan. Take care. 